Welcome to Project Autism Video Blogs. My name is Michael Conti, and I'm a board certified behavior analyst. Today, we're gonna to talk about toy play. Now, toy play is important for three reasons. First, it's already difficult for children on the spectrum to interact with their peers appropriately. The more they're able to play with toys um, helps to bridge that gap with their peers. Second, um, it helps to build additional reinforcers. And so the more interaction they get with these toys, they may start to like them, and that may also increase um, the amount of reinforcers that they have. And third, it helps to model appropriate language. And so while interacting with the toys, um, you can ask specific questions, um, you can go into different um, play skills, but you can definitely improve and model appropriate language. Let's do it up here, are you ready? Come next to me. Good work, Johnny. Ready? It crashed. Let's do it again. Good. Ready? Leave his eyes on. He's got to see. Yeah, he needs to see. We see with our eyes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Watch out. Crash. 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 They crashed. Crash. The cars crashed. The cars crashed. Very good, Johnny. The cars crashed. Ouch. Hey, who crashed? Crash baby. And? And McQueen. Mater and McQueen crash. Beep, 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 beep. When he backs up, he goes beep, 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 beep. beep. Back him up. What does he say? Let me find a car. <laughs> it is a car. What kind of car? Red. Red car. Oh, oh, you want the car? We do. We do. Ask me. I want a virtual car. You want my car? That was good work, Johnny. We. Is he flying? Can I have the camel? Here you go. Can I have the donkey? Here you go. Thank you. And here are some final thoughts. First, you want your play to be very creative. You want to think outside the box. In fact, you might want to use a box. Um, but you want to make sure that you play as how a child would play and not like how an adult would play. You don't want your play to be too rigid. Second, you want the play to be as social as possible. So get siblings involved, grandparents, next door neighbors. You want to teach early on that play should be a very social event. Finally, you want to use the five senses. And so each child um, has a tendency to like whether it's audio, whether it's visual. So see what type of toys they currently interact with and try to expand on that. We want to thank you for watching our video for today. And of course, go play.